Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you three different tarp shelters. This video is a part of a series of ridgeline and tarp shelter videos to help with your camping and survival skills development. If you haven't seen my videos on the essential ridgeline knots or advanced ridgeline knots, then I recommend you start there. I'll put a link in the description and also at the end of this video. Now to begin with the first easy tarp shelter, I'm gonna set up a ridgeline between two trees. The first knot I'm going to tie is the mooring hitch because it's an easy, quick release hitch knot. With the one end of the ridgeline anchored, I now tie the other end to another tree. This time after doing a couple cross wraps, I'll use a simple slippery half hitch. I don't want to put too much tension in the line yet or it'll make the next step difficult. With the ridgeline set up, now I can add the tarp. For this tarp setup, I'm using a 9x9 square tarp. First drape the tarp over the ridgeline along the center. There are a few different ways to attach a tarp to a ridgeline, and for this setup, I'm going to use a couple small wooden toggles. All I need to do is slip the ridgeline through the loops of the tarp, and then use the toggle to prevent it from slipping back through. Once I have the ridgeline secured to both sides of the tarp with toggles, I can adjust and tighten the ridgeline. With the center of the tarp secured to the ridgeline and everything nice and taut, I can now move to anchor off the bottom corners of the tarp. Like the ridgeline, there are a few different ways to secure the bottom corners to the tarp. We can use a length of paracord and another wooden toggle, or we can use tent stakes as a couple examples of your options. For this setup, I'm going to use a tent stake at each corner and simply pass the stake through both sides of the tarp, going through the tarp's loops, and then press the stake firmly into the ground. Sometimes we need to work around obstacles like other trees or rocks that get in the way, but don't worry about them, just do your best to secure the bottom corners. In this example, I have a large tree right where I want to put a tent stake in the corner. Let me show you a couple solutions. The first option is that I could stake down the middle of the tarp and then fold back the one corner and tie it to the center loop of the tarp with a simple double slip square knot. Another option is that I can run a length of paracord around the tree. In this case, I'll use a taut line hitch to tie off the tent stake. And there you have it. So this is the A-frame shelter. It's a low profile shelter that will provide some protection from the sun, wind, and rain. It's suitable to use to cover equipment or to sleep under. Clearly, it doesn't have a high enough profile to be able to sit comfortably or to stand up in. So what about a higher profile tarp shelter? For the second tarp shelter, we'll begin the same as the previous by running a ridge line between two trees and connecting our tarp. From there, I'm going to tie guy lines to the corners of the tarp using a common bowl and knot and a length of paracord. Now, I run the guy line out at about a 45 degree angle from the tarp. And then using a tent stake, again, I tie a taut line hitch so that I can adjust the tension in the guy line. Now I'll do the same for the remaining three corners of the tarp. When I'm finished, I have what's called the flying A-frame tarp shelter. As you can see, this is a higher profile shelter and it'll provide protection from the sun, wind, and rain. It's suitable to use to cover equipment, of course, and with this one, you're able to stand or sit under because of its higher profile. You will be sheltered while sitting under it, but your view won't be the greatest. So now let's make a shelter with an even higher profile. For the third easy tarp shelter, we'll begin the same as the flying A-frame. This time, I'm gonna use a couple adjustable extending poles to raise up the front of the shelter. Of course, I could use a stick at the corner, but 
I've found that extendable poles are a great addition to my camping gear to simplify a setup like this one. Now I'll tie the end of my paracord to the pole using a bowline knot. And from there, I just need to run the guy line out again at about a 45 degree angle from the tarp and the pole. And then again, using a tent stake, I tie a taut line hitch so that I can adjust the tension in my guy lines. I could go over the top of the pole, but if I do, it could easily slide off. So an advantage with the adjustable poles is they have built-in loops that I can tie off to. Once the pole's secure, I move to the back of the shelter, and as I did with the flying A-frame, I simply run guy lines out and secure them with a tent stake and, again, the taut line hitch. When I'm finished, I have what's called the extended A-frame tarp shelter. This shelter has a slightly higher profile than the flying A-frame and also provides protection from the sun, wind, and rain. It does provide shelter from the sun, wind, and rain. However, the majority of the protection it offers is from the sun. So there you have it. That's the three different variations of the A-frame tarp shelter. We've got the A-frame, the flying A-frame, and the extended A-frame tarp shelter. Great variations, easy setups, Thanks for watching.